So here at 530 through 534, we get a uh, great simile down here to describe what's happening between Daphne and Apollo. And Apollo is, um, is realizing that Daphne is not going to slow down. She's not going to stop. And this makes him want her even more. And he is inflamed with passion. And in 5.30, Ovid tells us, But indeed, said Anum, but indeed, the Uinus Deus, the young god, the, is not able to waste his flatteries any longer. And as love itself, or, or Cupid himself, warned him, or, or was advising him, was directing him, Apollo, he, the young god, follows her footpaths or her footsteps with a directed pace or with a, a like a, a pace that's just as quick as hers. So with a, um, a directed pace. Just as when a Gallic dog has seen a rabbit, in an empty field, and this one, i.e. the dog, seeks its prey on foot, but that one, the rabbit, seeks safety. So some really beautiful language here, um, some, some phrasings that I think would be helpful. Said means but, anum means for, but collectively said anum means but indeed, but in fact. Um, and sustineo can mean a lot of different things, but when we pair it with an infinitive, sustineo plus infinitive, it can mean the same thing really as almost posum, right? He is able to, and so non sustine, he is not able, he can't stand to peridera, to waste his flattery anymore. In other words, he... He's not gonna. He's not gonna just run along with her. He he's going to overtake her. He he's done. He's done with the cat and mouse game, or or I guess we should say the dog and the rabbit game, and um, and he's going to catch up to her and overtake her. So he he isn't able to waste his flatteries, or he can't stand to waste his flatteries any longer. And this is this clearly shows you he's he is completely lost control. I mean Apollo, who is this jack of all trades, this this. Um, director of, of art and medicine and prophecy and all of these things, I mean, especially the prophetic element, he's always in control. He always knows what's going to happen. But here, he's completely overtaken. Love itself, love uh, himself, right? Cupid himself is directing him, or bot here was directing him to be literal. And so he sequitors her vestigia. He follows her footsteps with a pace having been admitted. And so what we mean here is um, literally directed, but the idea, the, the way that Apollo, the way that Ovid's using this here is, I think, just with a pace that's directed by her pace. In other words, he's catching up to her. Um, and then I love all of the hyperbaton here. There's this really complex synchesis, A, B, C, A, B, C. Um, pretty, uh, you could argue a, a, a golden line, I think, and although the middle is not a verb, um, but just this beautiful interplay of, of words. So, as a dog in an empty, a rabbit when, <laughs> and then the Gallic dog and in an empty field, the rabbit when, and then finally we get the enjambment of the verb here, weed it. And so, just as this Gallic dog has seen a rabbit. Uh, or just as when this Gallic dog has seen a rabbit in an empty field. Uh, and I think the empty field part is important because there's no place for the rabbit to hide. There's nowhere to, for it to go. So the, the, the outcome is inevitable. Uh, this one, i.e. the dog, seeks its prey. And that one, i.e. the rabbit, pet its salutem.